One year ago today, the world woke up to the news that Reverend Billy Graham had died. He was America's pastor and Charlotte's favorite son. He was a household name, not just here in Charlotte, but around the world. More than 2,000 guests attended his funeral, including President Trump. So I sat down with his son, Franklin Graham, to talk about what this past year has been like without his father. This past year without your dad, what has that been like? If the family doesn't feel like it's been a year. I think when my father uh, passed away, there was so much activity that week, or that 10, over that 10 day period. Uh, for us, as, uh, for me personally, I really didn't have a chance to mourn. It was not really till the summer that I began to really ref reflect on what it meant to lose my father. It was really kind of in July when I began to just have a chance to reflect and be quiet and to be still. And when everything settled down, that was when Franklin said he really began to feel the void his father left behind. It wasn't that I grieved. I, I, I knew where my father was. I knew he was in heaven in the presence of God. He was back with my mother. I, you know, you can't be sad for that. But there's still a, a little bit of an emptiness because every, and I feel that emptiness on Sundays. Every Sunday I'd go see my father for 20 some years and 10 years prior to that with my mother. Uh, I would go see her every Sunday. So all of a sudden, uh, something you've been doing for almost 30 years, now you're not doing it anymore. So you wake up on Sunday and I get out of bed, get ready to, oh, I don't, I'm not going to Montreal today. I'm not going to go see my father today. And that was, uh, that was one of the hard things for me. Are you guys keeping his house there? Uh, we're going to keep it. Uh, he gave that to the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. We're going to make that into a, um, a, a small conference center so that churches, uh, maybe a, a board of elders want to go up there and pray and uh, spend the afternoon just reading the scripture and studying and having time together as a church uh, group, uh, we can do that in that house. Talk to me about the future of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. We're going to keep doing the same thing. We ain't changing nothing. We're going to keep telling people how they can have that assurance of heaven, how their sins can be forgiven. I'm going to keep on doing what we do. So I actually got to sit down with him like a few weeks ago prior to him leaving for a gospel tour in Australia. And this is actually in honor of the 60th anniversary of his father's oh, wow. historic crusades there in Australia. So it's hard to believe that that was one year ago that we yeah. were covering that. I said that earlier. That. I'm like, it's been a year I already. I know, time flies. Holy